Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode here on the Nerdcraft server. It is me, Frost, and I'm looking a little different today, aren't I? Is it the hair? Is it the hands? No, it's the Wither Skulls, of course. And that means, of course, that we are going to be fighting the Wither today! Woo! Now, to do that, I have prepared a few supplies, and I'm going to take off my uh, new hat. So, as you can see, I've got some potions here. Night vision, health, regeneration, strength. I brought my chest plate, my bow, and a bed. And we're going to go down to the mines, find one of my strip mines that I'm not really using anymore, and set up that wither fight. So, give me just a moment, and we will go down to the mine. Alright, we are down in the mine. And as you can see, I've set up a little respawn room where I've got my bed, which I've already set my spawn point in. And I've got my shulker box, which has all of the tools that I am not willing to risk while fighting the wither. Now, you may notice my sword is here, but that's because I put smite on my axe, which will do a lot more damage to the wither, which is an undead, uh, which is great news for us. And I've got my regen potion, a health potion, night vision potion, and a strength potion ready to go. I mean, I guess all that's left to do is uh, fight the wither, huh? Let's go. All right, folks. This is it. Once I set up this uh, this pillar here, this is gonna be it. This is the uh, this is fight time. So one, two, and no turning back now. Three, and let's back up. And by say no turning back, I mean I'm not gonna be anywhere near that thing when it goes boom. <laughs> All right, bows at the ready. Fire! Ah! Eat it, Wither. Eat it. Oh man, this is going to be a mess to clean up, isn't it? Alright, one more hit. Yeah, oh, oh, we can get it one more. Ah, it's in the invulnerable stage. Drink my potion! Go, go, go! We're going to get this thing. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Uh-oh. Uh, how close to the death am I? It doesn't matter. Woo! Well, that was uh, anticlimactic. Let's drink this regen potion. Well, uh, there's the wither fight, folks. <laughs> Way easier than I remember it. Maybe I was just, you know, younger and inexperienced with it. But yay! Hooray! We killed the wither! And we got our another star! Boy, am I glad I took the two seconds necessary to fight that wither. Man, the beacon's going to be so great when I get it. Ah. But the question is, do I actually even have enough blocks to make a beacon base and I'm pretty sure the answer is no so uh, that's a whole nother mission but at least we got the nether star right that's the important part so let's head back up to the surface and meet back up at my base camp slash hovel slash next to the tower ah there it is the nether star so pretty next to my other treasures I need to get more nautilus shells that reminds me anyway now that we have our nether star we can get on with doing other stuff this episode. As I promised last episode, I said we were going to make a shop today. And we are. But you may be wondering what I'm selling. This stuff. Horse armor, saddles, you name it. If it's equine related, we got it. So we're going to be selling this sort of stuff at least in one of our floors of our shop. Because I have an idea to make sort of a mini mall tower sort of thing. Because we only have that one plot, remember. So... I'm going to try to make a mini mart slash mega mart slash sky tower thing. I don't know. I'm going to design something and we're going to go build it and it's going to be fantastic. But this is what we're selling, uh, at least for now. And we may sell other goodies as I have the farms for them. So this is the shopping district, as I showed you last episode. And this is our plot. We don't really, really have too much to work with. So... I got to be very careful with how I build my shop. The other thing is we're at an angle, so I'm going to have to figure out how I want people to enter the shop and how tall I want to go because I definitely do want to go tall because I think with this limited amount of space, it is better for me to go upwards rather than outwards. Although I guess I could technically extend into the ocean if I needed to. Hmm, actually, this gives me some sort of idea. Give me a moment to sketch something out, 
and I'll bring you back in when I have done so. Well, we are back in my creative test world, and you can see this is my idea. I think I'm going to build a ship, either an airship of some sort, which would be super cool, or more likely an ocean-going vessel that is uh, pulled up to port right at our shopping district. And I think this is the shape I'm going to go with. I'm not an expert at shipbuilding, but I did my best. And I think it looks pretty ship-like, and I'm excited to build it. And I guess the idea would be that I could put whatever I wanted for sale on the ship, and uh, when it went, it went, that kind of thing. Because, you know, the ship is always coming and going and bringing new wares for sale. So I think this ship idea is definitely what we're going to go with. So let me head back to the Nerdcraft server, and we can uh, go collect the resources and begin building it. All right, we've jumped back on to the Nerdcraft server, and as you can see, I have made a whole bunch of dark oak trees, because we are going to need a whole lot of plankage of the dark oak variety, if you know what I mean. So there's nothing for it but to just get chopping and hopefully get enough logs to make this ship happen. And all the trees have been cleared. Uh, it's kind of a sad sight, but this is what we got. We got, what is it, five stacks, almost six stacks of logs, a bunch of saplings, some sticks, and some apples. I'm just going to plant down these saplings, and then we can go right back over to the shopping district and begin building that boat. And we are back at our plot after doing a lot of work, as you can tell. I got rid of all the mycelium and ugly blocks and stone and... I'm starting to spread grass. I doubt it will stay grass, but, you know, I'd like to have a, a foundation where I have grass instead of, um, that. But anyway, I have decided on a location for our boat. It is going to be off of this side. I'm going to build a pier that goes just over into the water over there, and we can build the boat right in this area because... I didn't want to put it over on this side because Palm Flower's base is right, or shop rather, is going to be right there. So I don't want to in, uh, intrude on her. So we're going to put the boat right out here and it's going to look fantastic. Because look, there's an avenue right to the ocean. So perfect in my book. So let me get this pier built so that we have a place to start. And then we'll get cracking on shipbuilding. So here is the pier. It is pretty rough right now. I'm going to have to do some detailing on it later, but for right now, I think it looks pretty all right. And now comes the fun part, building the boat in the water. I mean, I hope it's going to be fun, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to start working on the frame of the boat and I will get back to you right after I have done so. Ahoy, me mateys, the outer frame of our ship be done. Ah, yes. I'm not sorry for the pirate voice. It'll continue. But yeah, we have the outer frame of our ship done. I've started putting down the decking and seeing where I want to put things. But I am super pleased with how it's turned out so far. So let me get cracking on the rest of the boat. And I will join you as soon as I've gotten more of this frame done. I have been hard at work. And I've completed half the hull of the ship so far. I... Didn't quite get to the uh, other half yet, but I'm working on it. Just wanted to check in with you all and show you how I'm doing. I think the ship is turning out really well. I'm not super happy with, you know, some of the shaping of the hull, but, you know, this is the first ship I've ever made, so, you know, I think it's pretty good for a first time. 
But uh, yeah, let me continue on, build the second half of the hull, and then I will bring you all back in. Well, the ship is certainly looking much more complete than the last time I showed it to you. I have added the decking, uh, the top deck anyway, and I have added the captain's quarters, which, you know, will actually just be a business office. But um, I think it's going to be a really nice looking ship when I'm done with it. I also did not neglect to add the rudder out the back. It's not perfect, but it is a rudder. <laughs> and I'm super, just super proud of myself for, you know, trying to build something that I've never built before. And this boat really is... Uh, a tough thing. Now, obviously, I'm missing some uh, masts. I'm going to definitely put at least two masts on this boat. Um, I'm thinking probably one right in this section going up. And probably one somewhere in the middle here. Uh, and that would be just to represent, you know, the fact that this ship does move via wind. Um, of course, the sails will not be unfurled or else it would be moving. I think I'll have them rolled up or looking like they're rolled up anyway. But that is for later. For now, we continue building on this ship because I mean, this pro I say this a lot, I know, but this project is way bigger than I anticipated, but I am not sad that I'm doing it. So there I was working on the ship, and all of a sudden when I look over, bam, there's a new shop in town, one that isn't even related to the pirate ship at all that I didn't build. Palmflower has set up her travel agency for her hotel she's building, and I'm super excited about this. Wow, let's see. Ooh, chest. Interesting. Coral Reef Tour, Treasure Tour, Sea Temple Tour, Horse Tour, Hotel Room Key, Deluxe Hotel Key. Ooh, I'm going to take a read through all these at some point, but I'm very excited. Uh, maybe it'll help distract me while I work on the ship, but uh, don't worry. It's almost done, and when it is, oh boy, will I bring you in to show you exactly what has happened. Oh, wow. I have made some serious progress. The outside of the ship is all complete. Look at those masts. Look at the decking. Look at the lanterns. Oh, so great. Only problem, uh, we seem to have a leaky hull, so we better uh, deal with that. But I am very, very pleased. Although the one thing I haven't figured out is the ship's wheel, so if anybody has any ideas for that, uh, leave them down in the comments. I mean, I'm going to put something there temporarily, but I'm sure the smart people down there can definitely tell me something better than this. That being said, it's time to work on the below decks area and make sure we're no longer flooded. So let's check back in when we are below decks. Welcome aboard the Golden Raven, lads and lassies, the finest vessel these waters have ever seen, bringing wares from around the world for those good people here on the island. Oh, the old captain lives over here in his quarters looking at his map and his compass. And below decks, the low decks is where they drag all the cargo. Aye, all the cargo you could ever want. Of course, it's been offloaded at this point. But don't worry, lads and lassies. There's going to be plenty of cargo to sell in the shop. <clears throat> that is uh, supposed to be here. So if you couldn't get what the old Captain Frost was saying, I'm going to be building some market stalls here to sell the wares that the Golden Raven brings into port from her voyages out into the mysterious waters. And by that I mean it's all the junk I want to sell to the other people on the server. <laughs> yeah. Well, give me some time. I'm going to build some shop up and uh, hope you all like what happens when I'm done. This is what happens when you're very fly happy and you decide to run out of rockets and then you have to boat all the way back to your base instead of flying like you're used to. <sighs> I need a gunpowder farm soon. Ah, <sighs> I never grow tired looking at the ship. I hate to toot my own horn and, and be that way, but I'm just so, so pleased with it. Oh yeah, and I also built this marketplace. I love it. It's got just the right feel that I was definitely going for. So you've got three different shops here. We've got the Captain's Picks, which include bones for sale, uh, bamboo, cactus, and a bunch of berries. You know, things that I'm producing all at reasonable prices. And then there's the Fresh Off the Boat deals, which include rarer items like this horse armor. And this horse armor. And this horse armor and saddles. 
you know, all for reasonable prices, of course. But if you want reasonable, then you come to the bargain barrel, where everything is just one diamond. You know, like this mushroom stuff and that poisonous potato. And every good marketplace needs an ATM. <laughs> and that will unfortunately do it for today's episode, but don't worry, there will be another one soon. If you liked this video, please do hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It really does help me out. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, see ya! Thank you.